Let's take a look at Freerun Beyond Journey's End, Volume 1. Stay tuned. First, I want to give big thanks to Viz Media for sending me the first volume of their new series, Freerun Beyond Journey's End. Freerun is joining their Shonen Sunday lineup, which includes other series like Call of the Night, Fly Me to the Moon, and favorites of mine such as Komi Can't Communicate and Cross Game. Freerun Beyond Journey's End is written by Kanahito Yamada with artwork by Tsukasa Abe, and has been running in the weekly Shonen Sunday magazine in Japan since April of 2020. There are currently six volumes available in Japan, and the first volume just came out in the US in November. Viz is going to be releasing this series bi-monthly, so that means that we'll see volume two available in January. Freerun Beyond Journey's End follows the title character, the elven mage called Freerun. She, along with her companions, the High Priest Hider, the Warrior Aizen, and the Hero Himmel, have just succeeded in defeating the Demon King and bringing balance to the land. In the opening scenes of the series, we get to see everyone happily celebrating this victory and the heroes that have brought this peace to them. However, Freerun seems to be a little more stoic. While everyone else has experienced this 10-year journey, for her, as an elf with a much longer lifespan, 10 years just seems like a drop in the bucket. So while the other members of the party have made deep and lasting connections with one another, Freerin feels like she's barely even known them. The heroes all go their separate ways, and 50 years later, Freerun returns to that village, where she once again meets with her former partner, the hero Himmel. And she's surprised when she sees that Himmel has aged so much in this time, whereas she has not changed at all. They go to watch a meteor shower that happens once every 50 years, and very soon thereafter, Himmel dies of old age. And this is the time where Freerun begins feeling things that she'd never felt before. She feels grief over the loss of this person, but she also feels guilt because she can't really call him her friend. And she realizes that she's closed herself off to everyone else because her life is so different than theirs, and she hasn't respected the way that others experience life themselves. She's overwrought with grief, and she feels this guilt because she wishes that she had taken the time to get to know everyone while they were on this quest. In the second chapter, the story then moves ahead another 20 years, and we see Freerun visiting another member of her old party, the priest Hyder. Of course, when she sees Hyder, he too has aged, and in this time, he's adopted and taken in a young girl named Fern, and has begun to try and teach her magic. Through a series of events, Hyder basically manipulates Freerun into agreeing to take Fern on as her apprentice after he passes which does soon happen. And so Freerun begins her new journey alongside Fern, her apprentice. However, teaching Fern to use various magic may not be the only objective that Freerun has in this new journey. So that's a basic outline of what we see happen in the first two chapters of this series. It sets up the story with our main characters, and we really get the idea of what this series is really about. It is a fantasy and adventure title, but it focuses more on the emotional impact that Freerun has had now that she's seeing the people around her starting to pass. Freerun is now realizing how cold and closed off that she was to all these people around her all these years, and she feels so much guilt for it. And this is so beautifully artistically portrayed in the scenes where we see Freerun go from being cold and stoic to all of a sudden feeling a rush of emotions and just bawling and crying over the loss of these people that for all intents and purposes, she should have been able to call friends. The series very wonderfully looks at the idea of mortality through the lens of our main character, an elf who has such a long life that while she might not be immortal, in the eyes of someone like a human, she may as well be. The first volume of this series does a fantastic job of giving us exactly what we need to know about what to expect in this series. It sets up all of our main characters, and it sets up the journey that they'll be going on perfectly, stringing us along to see that there's going to be a lot of emotional resonance with these characters as they continue forward all the while displaying this with amazingly detailed and beautiful artwork throughout. The fantasy world that this series takes place in is so 
amazingly realized and beautifully rendered right from the start. The world building in this book is fantastic and it really does feel like some place that's been lived in. You can believe from the beginning of the series and the happenings in the first chapter that these people have lived through something, that these heroes have just gone through this journey and have spent a lot of their life and a lot of effort defeating evil. This is so expertly told that even though these things happened off panel before the beginning of this series, you have a familiarity with the events and it doesn't feel as if you were left out of anything. And that world building is something that this series succeeds in immensely in its early chapters. That is something that other titles struggle to get right in more than even their first few volumes. I had a really great time reading Freer and Beyond Journey's End Volume 1, and honestly, I cannot wait to get my hands on Volume 2. I can see this series jumping up my list and being one of my most anticipated titles every month that a volume comes out. The characters are fantastic, the emotional punches are all there and just beautifully delivered, and again, the world here is beautifully displayed, not only artistically, but also narratively in the way that this series has been written. So again, I cannot wait for volume two of Free Run Beyond Journey's End so that I can continue this amazing story. And I highly recommend this series for anyone that is a fan of fantasy stories of any medium. If you've already read Free Run Beyond Journey's End volume one, please let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this book. And if you haven't done so already, let me know down in the comments if you plan on grabbing a copy of Free Run Beyond Journey's End volume one. Thank you so much for spending the time with me in this video, and thank you again to Viz Media for sending me the first volume of Freer and Beyond Journeys. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so now and hit that bell so you're notified of all the awesome content that I put out each week, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out.